What's going on, everyone? My name is Aaron. This is Dad.0. Oh. So a little while back, I got contacted by a company called Vasking. They are a maker of tablets and accessories, and they reached out to me asking me if I would review their latest KingPad SA8 tablet. This is an 8-inch Android tablet. I said, sure, send it over. I'm going to do an honest review of it. So full disclosure, this was sent to me. It is not paid for, however, and this is my honest opinion on it. So let's start off by reviewing the design of this. Again, this is an 8-inch Full HD tablet. The front of this kind of has an iPad mini looking design to it. If you took away the Touch ID button on the bottom, it has those larger top and bottom bezels along with thinner bezels on the side. The sides and back are made out of metal. It has a really premium feeling design to it. On the right side, you have your power and sleep button, you have your volume rocker, and then a microphone. On the other side, there's actually nothing, so that is just a, a free side. On the top, you have an expandable storage SD card reader that can read up to 128 gigs of expandable storage. On the bottom, you have dual speakers, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then a USB type C port for charging. This tablet comes in at 1.12 pounds or 510 grams. So it's not the lightest eight inch tablet on the market out there, but with that all metal design, I would say it feels more premium than a lot of the cheaper ones. And by no means is this heavy at all. The screen, like I said, is eight inch, 1920 by 1200 IPS display. And this is a good display. It gets nice and bright. The colors seem very accurate. Text is easy to read. They have this anti-blue light screen that they call it that's supposed to block some of the blue light that puts strain on your eyes so that you can theoretically use this for longer periods of time without putting strain on your eyes. And you can toggle this on and off in the settings, but overall, I think this is a really good display. On the back, you have a 13 megapixel rear camera, and then on the front, you have a five megapixel front camera. And they take decent enough pictures if you're the type that likes to take pictures with your tablet. This will be just fine. The back camera can shoot in 720p. The front facing camera can only shoot in 480p. The dual speakers on the bottom are pretty good as well. They get pretty loud and they should be loud enough to use in just about any setting. They're not the most quality speakers on a tablet that I've seen when it comes to bass, but like I said, I think they're good enough for listening to music or watching a video. Internally, this tablet runs Android 10 Pie, has three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Again, you can expand that with an SD card. It has an eight core processor that's clocked in at 1.6 gigahertz, has Bluetooth 4.2, a 4,000 milliamp battery that they quote at 12 hours of usage. And I'll tell you what I've been getting after a couple weeks of usage and performance with this eight core processor and the three gigs of RAM has been really impressive actually. In comparison to the Amazon Fire HD 8 that I reviewed a, a couple months ago, this one just feels so much more snappier. Multitasking seems a lot more fluid and not quite as choppy. With that three gigabytes of RAM, apps will stay open a little bit longer so that they aren't constantly closing so you can pick up where you left off. They also seem to open up faster as well, and you're kind of in and out of things quicker. Overall, it just feels like a little bit better performance on this Vasking SA8. Battery life has also been really impressive. They quote 12 hours, and I'm right about that number as well, which is kind of funny because most of the time when they quote something, you can expect it to be a couple hours less than that because of the way they test it, but I would say I'm at that 11 hour mark with just normal usage, emailing, web browsing, watching some videos and those type of tasks. Standby power consumption has been really impressive as well. I left on vacation with this at about 40% of battery left and I was gone for six days and I came back and there was still 15 to 20% of battery left. So this can stay on standby for days on end. You can game on this and most games play really smoothly. If you get into more graphically intense games, it might get a little bit choppy or you might have to lower the settings just a little bit, but I've been really impressed with the gameplay on this too. I think the processor and the RAM help it keep up and I've had no problems playing just about any game in the Play Store. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this Fast King SA8. There are just a few things that I wish were a little bit better. First, I kind of wish that they would slim up these front bezels a little bit. The top and bottom ones are really big, especially with no button there. Kind of wish that they could slim this up a little bit. But on the flip side of that argument, when you're holding this in landscape, it is nice to have some place to put your hands and your fingers so that they're not touching the screen. So there's a little bit of give and take with that argument. Second, I wish that the front facing camera was HD. Would be nice for video conferencing and that sort of thing, but it's still 
plenty fine for those type of tasks, but it would be nice if it was HD. But overall, I really like this tablet and I'm really impressed. I wasn't expecting this much quality from a company that I had not heard of until they reached out to me. But I have to say that this eight inch tablet is premium. I love the full HD screen. I love the three gigs of RAM. The eight core processor makes this really snappy. And I'd recommend it to anyone that wants a really portable premium Android 10 tablet. Something that you could easily slip in and out of a purse, a briefcase, or a backpack and take with you on the go. And you want good performance. Maybe you want to do a little bit of gaming on this. You want to do a little bit more multitasking than some of the cheaper tablets can do. This one's for you. So if you're interested in it, I'll put a link in the description below where you can check it out, get some more information on it, check out some more reviews, see if it's for you. If you like this video, press that like button. Appreciate it, guys. Also, make sure you subscribe. Got a lot more content coming out soon. And as always, I will catch you on the next video.